It was September the 5th, 1972. Members of the Israeli Olympic team were taken from their quarters in their Munich Olympic village by the ruthless militant group Black September. By the end of the ordeal, the terrorist group had killed 11 Israeli athletes and coaches and one German police officer. Five of the eight members of Black September were killed by police during an abortive rescue attempt at a nearby airfield, while the other three were captured and later released. It was that year's main event. In 1972, the Olympic Games returned to Germany for the first time since 1936, with many hoping the Munich Games would help to heal the racial scars left by Hitler and the Third Reich. The participation of an Israeli team in an Olympic Games held in Germany was to be significant, as the horrors of the Holocaust were still fresh in people's minds. But the athletes themselves saw the Games as a way of showing the resilience of Israel and the Jewish people. Security in the athletes' village was lax, and people would often walk in and out without showing identification. At around half past four in the morning of September the 5th, eight terrorists jumped over the six-foot-high fence that surrounded the Olympic village. They entered the buildings and raided the apartment block that housed the Israeli contingent. Two Israeli athletes were killed immediately. Some escaped out of the windows, and nine more were seized as hostages. By around 5 a.m., the police had been alerted, and news of the attack had begun to spread around the world. The terrorists then dropped a list of their demands out of the window, among them the release of over 200 Palestinians serving time in Israeli jails, along with renowned German terrorists. If their demands were not met, they would begin killing Israeli athletes. The terrorists threw the body of Moshe Weinberg, an Israeli wrestling coach, out of the front door of the building to show they were not backing down. Israel's response was immediate and absolute. There would be no negotiations with terrorist organizations. Over a billion people worldwide watched in horror as the crisis played out. After hours of unsuccessful negotiations, the Palestinians demanded two flights to Cairo, hoping that a change in location would see their demands met. With the terrorists watching the German police and their every move on live television from inside the room, officials agreed while secretly deciding to confront them as they arrived at the airport. Once the militants and the hostages were transferred by helicopters to a NATO airbase, German snipers opened fire, killing five of the Palestinians. A horrifying gun battle ensued, with the remaining terrorists blowing up all nine Israeli hostages held captive in a waiting helicopter. Three of the terrorists survived the attack and were taken into custody. Following the massacre, Israeli Prime Minister Golda Meir gave instructions for Israeli agents to hunt down and kill those associated with the Munich plot. The Israeli Secret Service, Mossad, formed a covert unit that allegedly assassinated two of the surviving terrorists. What became known as Operation Wrath of God would continue for months, targeting many Palestinians and Arabs across Europe. Meanwhile, the bodies of the five militants killed during the airport siege were delivered to Libya, where they received heroes' funerals and were buried with full military honors. Less than two months later, the three surviving terrorists were released by the German government after several other Black September members hijacked a German passenger jet and threatened to blow it up unless the three were released. Back at the games, all athletic competition had been suspended for 24 hours, and in a controversial decision, IOC President Avery Brundage declared the games must go on. However, after the memorial service, the remaining members of the Israeli team withdrew from the games. Athletes from Egypt, the Philippines, and Algeria also left. ABC announcer Jim Mackay uttered the tearful words, they're all gone, and with that, the 1972 Munich massacre became the worst tragedy in Olympic history. Thank you.